standing in the third floor of the Broad Contemporary Art Museum and we're on the east side of the building. Uh, on the west side is of course the works that have been up for quite some time um, with a sort of focus around Jeff Koons. And then this installation is completely different. I think the most important thing that I was thinking of with this installation was the fact that in October, we will present uh, the retrospective of Blinky Palermo. And um, Palermo is a very important German artist who died very early in 1977, died under mysterious circumstances. So it's, a, it's this quite intriguing figure, but before that, you know, he had a very interesting career in which he managed to make a lot of very important work. The focal point of all of that work is more or less color and form, so we thought about this installation as a complement to that exhibition. The real sort of anchor and focal point within these galleries is the artist Amy Knobel. Uh, Knobel was born in 1940, was a dear friend of Palermo, attended the Dusseldorf Academy with Palermo. Uh, so that was really what we were thinking about. You have this obvious connection here and explored similar ideas. Started off as much more of a sculptor and more of a constructivist uh, and then became a, a much more of a painter and a painter who deals with issues of color and form. It's also worth noting uh, the professor for Knobel and for Palermo was Joseph Boys. All of these artists are living artists, um, but it was also about bringing the work forward and thinking about artists like Peter Halley and Christian Eckhart, who were known in the 80s for sort of advancing ideas around geometric painting. You know, Peter Halley working in New York at the same time um, as Jeff Koons was coming into his sort of prominence. Early 80s, um, they showed a lot together. The work was discussed a lot together. I think the work was often misdiagnosed as being part of this Neo Geo thing. In the vacuum cleaner piece over there, you get this sort of sense of clean lines and whatever. Um, so there is that to some degree, but really they sort of, they really go to a, a moment in a way. And I think for a lot of people, they, they define uh, a very early 80s moment. Um, that came specifically out of New York at that time. And their presence um, also is a reminder of one of the strong points of the Broad Collection, which is its um, in-depth look at the 80s in particular. I mentioned constructivism a little bit, and that's an idea that plays a very strong role, especially in the work of Amy Knobel here. Um, basically, you know, you have a series of paintings which are all called figure or figure build, but then there are also another series called the Latinus, and in that series, you're dealing with three-dimensional objects. You know, they hang um, to some degree, but they also sit directly on the floor. So creating this sort of sculptural kind of um, aspect to the work that is very important. And I think some of those ideas go back to, you know, 1915 and, and thinking about people like Malevich and ideas around suprematism, um, looking at abstraction as this force both sculpturally and uh, in the field of painting as well. When you walk in in the beginning over by the elevator, one of the first works that you see is a piece by John McCracken. And that's a three-dimensional piece. So, you know, we're talking about painting as this thing that is dynamic, as this thing that has sort of a muscular kind of attitude to it. It doesn't just sit on the wall. The McCracken piece is five planks, um, different colors, primarily primary colors, um, that all sort of lean up against the wall. And they kind of look like figures in a way, super tall figures. Um, the majority of the work in here was made between 84 and 86 actually, or 81 and 86 rather. 
Um, and so at that time, I think Peter Halley, for instance, is trying to point you in different directions with his usage of color, particularly that like caution orange that we're standing next to, you know, which is something that's very industrial, um, something that points to things that are out there in the real world. It's not just about sitting in the studio and uh, working with paint. Around the corner is one of the, the first Halleys that he did in the style that he is known for. It's from 1981. Uh, it's a piece called Freudian painting, and you see these sort of prison windows within it. It's an incredible painting, and it happens to be in their collection. There's other things that, that have sort of come in my head a little bit um, in thinking even further back and thinking outside of the box of a more Western tradition. And there was a show here, um, I think it was in the 70s, that showcased work that was in the collection of the artist Tony Berlant, and it was about Navajo um, work and it dealt primarily with carpets. And a lot of those pieces, like you look at the geometry and the sort of dynamic concrete lines of those pieces, and it's right there, you know, there's something talking to this work as well. Um, so there's that, and then there's just other, I mean, it's just, it just becomes obvious how universal um, issues of geometry have been in painting. Also, these works play amazingly well with the architecture. So that was another really sort of fun part of it. It's about light and it's about a certain sort of large scaleness um, that plays here really, really well. And it plays particularly well for paintings, the way that we have the gallery set up, basically broken into six different rooms. Um, you have this natural light that um, changes throughout the day. So it's interesting to think about when you see something in the morning, it's quite different in the afternoon. This is the kind of work that perhaps you sit down with and you let it feel you or you feel it or something like that. You sort of convene with it. Um, and to that, to that uh, aspect, we have added benches in certain parts of the galleries. Most of this work has not been seen in a while, even at the foundation. So it's, um, it's uh, a really nice opportunity and good fortune to have the work here.